Developments in a disturbing case of hazing. Three Fordson High School students facing assault charges accused of attacking a fellow football player. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket is live in Dearborn right now where the community is rallying around the alleged victim. Simon, what have you found out? Carolyn Steven, right now the Fordson football team is preparing to battle the Cass Tech team in tonight's game. In the meantime, three teammates are preparing for a legal battle. I'm actually happy something is happening to them. Outraged members of the community in Dearborn telling us they are ready for justice. This afternoon, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy announcing three high school sophomores at Fordson face one count each of assault and battery. The alleged victim, a freshman boy on the football team. Sources say he was held down while one of the three boys exposed himself back on October 9th. I was expecting it, something bad to happen to these three uh, football players. That, that person is going to be shocked for life and, you know, living through that for the rest of his life. The 13 year old victim was allegedly targeted in the locker room before football practice. Sources tell us the students now charged have been suspended since the incident. Parents and alumni say they hope these charges serve as a warning to anyone else who might consider harming or hazing another student. Other kids like future generations, the next generation, you know, they could learn from it, you know. That's what I keep teaching my kids too, okay? And uh, if, they, if they find out there's something like that happen, even if it's happened to my son or my daughter, she needs to talk. The school district confirms all the students involved are minors. As part of a statement to Action News, the school district superintendent says, quote, we are aware of the charges that were filed by the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. Due to student privacy law, it is not possible for the district to make any additional comments regarding these charges. It goes on to say our legal obligation to refrain from commenting on this situation in a public forum is in no way intended to be interpreted as defending, minimizing, or attempting to hide the actions of the students involved. A pretrial hearing is set for November 20th at 10 a.m. And if you want to read more of that superintendent's statement, just go to our website, WXYZ.com. Live in Dearborn, Simon Shaket, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you for the live report.